So hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing great and today's video i'm going to talk about how you can create a finger rig using the blender so right now here you can see i have a little setup here and here you can see in this video i'm going to talk about how you can do something like that and that's look awesome and cool by the way let me just show you from this angle it will look nice and better from here let me just uh, close everything now here you can see that look awesome by the way so in this video i'm just going to talk about how you can create these kind of finger rigs and that look awesome and here you can see we have a like thumb rig as well so how we can create this okay so first of all i will just open a new project file all right guys so here you can see we have a new project file and here you can see we don't have any kind of rigs controllers and uh, like bones here so we'll just create from the scratch and uh, first of all i just want to tell you what we are going to do exactly right now here you can see if i'm just going to my pose mode so here you can see if i'm just going to move this bone like uh, manually so here you can see it is it's just gonna okay let me just first of all link my body with this bone so it will deform along with this bone as also yeah everything is good to go now here you can see if i'm just gonna move this bone so now here you can see it is gonna like affect our fingers and that's look nice but we want if uh we'll just rotate this uh finger that another finger also uh, should be like rotate something like that but right now we have to do manually this and this is not looking awesome by the way so what we will do we'll just create one controller with the help of that controller we can just uh, add some drivers add some uh, rigs there okay then when we'll just move that controller down so everything will go along with this controller all right so let's start it how we can do that so first of all i'm just going to my edit mode and uh, and one more thing i just want to tell you guys before starting this tutorial because uh, that is crucial and that is important by the way here you can see here i have a give a separate names to their bones by the way here you can see this is the index finger total this is index finger tip all right so it is better if you will give also a uh, name to their bones because it will help to rectify which bones you are gonna selected and that will also help you to create a perfect and uh, like uh, we can say precisely animation all right and i'm just gonna upload one video uh, after this video where i will show you how you, how you can create a these kind of whole bone setups and also with their name so make sure you watch that video definitely uh, it, it it will be definitely upload after this video all right but in this video we'll just gonna talk about how we can create those controller uh, from where we can uh, rig our fingers so first of all let me just go to my edit mode i think i'm into my edit mode so uh, first of all i'm just gonna select my this bone i'll just do shift s and do cursor to select it now after that i'm just gonna press the shift e and now here you can see we have another bone all right so first of all i'm just gonna select this bone and i'll just do alt p because we don't want any parent uh, from all those bone bones basically so i'll just do clear parent after that make sure you just turn off the deform also because we don't want any deformation from this bone because it will work as a controller all right after doing those step make sure you just go to your uh, pose mode so the shortcut is control tab and you will uh, get a pose mode dialog box then after that what do you have to do basically let me just first check which direction uh, and which axis that bone gonna rotate it by the way let me just see you from here it is y no it is not y it is z no it is x by the way here you can see it is gonna perfectly rotating in a right direction so what i'm gonna do basically i'm just gonna select this bone and i'm just gonna select this axis and i'll do right click and do add driver and now guys this part is very crucial you have to very precisely look at the whole settings which is i'm gonna doing here because if you will gonna miss a single step maybe you will not get exactly same result which is i'm gonna show you here so make sure just uh, keep focus on that which settings and which steps i'm doing by the way all right so first of all what I, what we have to do we have to just change the driver type as a scripted to the average value okay and when you just change the average value you will get a uh, error basically it is called invalid target channels before doing this we have to do one more thing also we have to just give this name by the way so right now uh, their name is index finger dot l so we'll just change this name as a index finger controller controller dot l 
yeah that's look nice all right then we'll again go to our driver sections and here i will just do edit driver and here i will just select the amateur first of all then we have to select the target bone which is going to work as a controller we'll just select the name here index so here you can see we have index finger controller dot l we have to just select this bone and here you can see suddenly it will go on a little weird by the way so what i'm going to do i'm again going to my edit uh, driver section and here we'll change the location as a y location and make sure you just change the space as a world to local space now you are good to go now here you can see when i'm just going to move this controller up to down it's gonna perfectly affecting our whole finger and that's look nice by the way all right but still there is a one problem because we want a good uh, rotation of the another and tip finger also which is we are not seeing here properly so for that what we have to do we have to just add some constrainer with this bone from this to that so how we can do that first of all we have to select this bone then we have to select that bone then we have to just do Control shift c all right and we'll get another add constrainer with targets dialog box here we have to just click the copy rotation and here you can see when i'm just going to click a copy rotation this bone uh, automatically uh, automatically active one controller like one constrainer basically i'm just going to my constrainer settings let me just turn off all those axes first of all and make sure you just change target as a local way uh, basically world to local in both sections and now here you can see when i'm just going to move this bone up to down now it's perfectly moving which we want by the way all right that's look nice by the way that's this is basically what it does exactly we have just copied this rotation to the that bones now that bone is also giving a same rotation value to the tip bone and now when i'm just gonna move this bone to here to here it is perfectly rotating and that's look awesome all right now still there is a one problem which is i'm feeling by the way here you can see when i'm just gonna move this bone little upward it is gonna way far which is we don't want because in a real world our bones not going on too much far which is we are seeing here by the way okay so how we can control this so for that what we have to do we have to add another constrainer into our controller bones so we'll just add a limit location constrainer and it will look something like that so make sure you have to uh, precisely see see those settings so here is those two sections it's called minimum and maximum all right so let me just enable our x-axis and the both axis and uh, I've did a lots of practice and then get exact value which is I feel good but it depends on your rig also so uh, make sure you just try some values and whatever value you feel good to uh, according to your rig you can just add it but I have uh, did lots of time so I know exact value so I'm just putting my exact value here like 0.1 here and you know minimum minus 0.9 okay this is awesome and one more thing i just want to tell you make sure whenever you uh, add any kind of uh, like constrainer make sure just change word to the local space now here you can see when i'm just going to move this bone to uh, like upward it is not going to move after zero point minus nine basically here you can see i'm just going to move this bone to like upward it's gonna hold after that and same thing in happening and the rotation also now that's look nice by the way that's how you can control your bones rotation it's look now more realistic and more organic by the way all right now i'm just going to do same thing with all those bones basically i'm just going to skip that uh, step and then i'll show you uh, the final result basically all right guys so we have done the same thing with all bones here and now here you can see that's look awesome by the way and this is look cool and if i'm just going to my uh thumb bone it is also look nice by the way here you can see all right so guys that's how you can create a finger uh rig using the blender that's very easy and cool trick so i thought i should share with you guys and i hope you understand how we can create these kinds of hand rig using the blender in the next video i will definitely talk about how we can uh create a bone structure with their names also so make sure you watch that video also so thanks for watching this video guys if you learned something from this video please hit the like button the share button and subscribe to my channel also if you have any queries if you have any session please let me know in the comment box i'll definitely reply comment so bye bye take care and stay home guys